Well, hello there, motherfuckers. Intel Tell Games has shut its doors. The company has closed down, sadly. And this is a real shame. One of my favorite games that this company put out is the game you're looking at right here. Uh, the Back to the Future series. I played this on the PC, a five-part series. Telltale Games is known for its point-and-click adventure games, and I love point-and-click. Some people find them to be boring. It's definitely, you know, not for the Call of Duty Battlefield crowd, but maybe some people have enjoyed these games as well if you keep an open mind. I've always been a very open-minded gamer, um, and I like games, you know, that have a story. Um, you know, sometimes I can't get into certain stories and certain games. It kind of bores me. But when you had a game like this, like Back to the Future, where they were telling another branch of the Back to the Future series, which is one of my favorite movie franchises of all time, and I've expressed that a considerable amount on this channel. So, to see the Back to the Future series be rebirthed in digital form, I mean, that just warmed my heart, and I, you know, I had to buy all the episodes in the series, and it was probably one of the best experiences I've had in a video game. So to hear that the company that shut it down, that's now it's been shut down, uh, I mean, it's heartbreaking. And I, I don't just have an experience just with this game. I started playing the Walking Dead series, and it's good, but I just never got along, you know, around to it. It's, there's just so many other games out there right now. Um, but another game that I really liked, a series of games, was the uh, Strong Bad, really cool game for attractive people. I'm a, I'm a Homestar Runner fan. I love that Flash cartoon. It's nowhere as popular as it used to be because, you know, they barely release any new cartoons in the series anymore. But around, uh, say, the year 2003, the series was on fire. And I absolutely love Homestar Runner even to this day. I go back and watch it sometimes, some of the classic episodes. And Strong Bad was one of the greatest characters. He was Homestar Runner's nemesis. And they gave him his own series of games on the Wii. And this was probably the only uh, bunch of WiiWare games that I ever bought. I played about three out of the series. And I loved uh, Danger Esque. Um, that was an amazing, funny, hilariously written game. Telltale did a, an amazing job working with the Homestar Runner creators to put that game out. And it was like a game that I don't think anybody thought they'd see. Like, who would think that a Flash cartoon on the internet would get its own video game? But Telltale Games made it happen. And I will always be indebted to them for that, for having that experience and, you know, uh, letting us experience that game. That, that was so awesome of them. And, um, yeah, Telltale Games, rest in peace. Um, I'll definitely be checking out some of their other games, like the Batman game. You know, now that they're gone, I'm gonna be like everybody else, you know, and wanting to play all the old games. It's like it's like when a musician dies, you know, you're gonna want to go back and listen to their old music. It's just the way how things are. But yet, yeah, and it's horrible. I mean, I'm hearing now that you've got class action uh, lawsuits now being filed against a company because. They let everybody go. Everybody's out of a job. It's just a huge mess. But, you know, I hope everything gets sorted out. Um, and Telltale Games, you know, thank you for all the memories. They were great ones. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell so you get the notifications when I post all my new videos. Check out some of the other videos that I posted here. And thank you for watching, guys. Until next time.